ओके गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द फोटोलिथोग्राफी लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ आई एम नेहा शर्मा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग एट इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज झालावाड़ राजस्थान सो दिस इज द सिलेबस ऑफ आर टी यू फॉर योर एट्थ सेमेस्टर आई सी टेक्नोलॉजी सब्जेक्ट सो स्टार्टिंग थ्री यूनिट्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड सम पार्ट ऑफ थर्ड यूनिट एंड दिस फोर्थ यूनिट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस इज पैटर्न ट्रांसफर एंड एचिंग प्रोसेस इट इंक्लूड्स फॉलोइंग कॉन्टेंट्स लाइक इंट्रोडक्शन टू ऑप्टिकल एंड फोटोलिथोग्राफी कॉन्टेक्ट एंड प्रॉक्सिमिटी प्रिंटर्स एंड मास जनरेशन वॉट आर फोटो रेजिस्ट एंड फाइनली एचिंग एंड ड्राई एंड वेट एचिंग डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ एचिंग्स विल यूज नाउ वाई दिस पैटर्न ट्रांसफर इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड वाई वी वॉन्ट टू डू दिस एचिंग प्रोसेस दिस इज बेसिकली वैन यू हैव टू बिल्ड सम स्ट्रक्चर लाइक गेट स्ट्रक्चर एंड लेट मी टेल यू लाइक दिस इज आर से सब स्ट्रेट एंड दिस इज आर सोर्स एंड ड्रेन रीजन सो वेन एवर वी आर डूइंग द फेब्रिकेशन इट इज अ लेयर प्रोसेस वन बाई वन लेयर वी हैव टू ग्रो सो uh after uh, this thing if we want to make a gate structure it should have a siu2 layer here and this polycal polysilicon layer on the top of it and uh, let me indicate it as my source drain and uh, this is my gate so to build uh, this type of structure we need to do a lithography process that is some pattern we have to transfer it here some pattern we have to make it here where uh, there should be some uh, uh, this uh, siu2 layer here and uh, one upper layer above so uh, for this thing we are doing our uh, this uh, lithography process so what is a photolithography it means li it means photo means light and litho means stone and graphy means writing means stone writing sort of so it is basically uh, a pattern transferring on semiconductor materials and uh, this uh, this transferring and this writing thing we are doing with the help of a light that's why this is known as photolithography so uh, patterns are first transferred to an imageable photoresist layer and uh, these terms like what, what is a photoresist and uh, this exposing which light we should use for this we are going to discuss these things in our uh, subsequent slides so photoresist is basically a liquid that can be applied on a substrate and when it is exposed with a uh, desired pattern and when it is developed some sort of uh, some sort of design has been created on your uh, substrate and whichever the portion we need to keep we will keep it and rest of the portion we will etch away etching means a uh, removal of unwanted thing uh, is known as basically etch etching so all these diagrams that i'm going to use in this slide are uh, taken from uh, vlsi technology book uh, written by smz so i have uh, uh, i have not removed the captions so that uh, all the students can uh, refer it back from the book that is a really very good book that you should refer for this subject so this is basically how uh, this uh, mask and mask is uh, mask uh, there is a pattern on the mask and it is transferred on an unpatterned wafer and uh, this unpatterned wafer uh, this whole printing thing so mask is basically a blueprint uh, which is very large in size but the wafer uh, we know that uh, as the uh, technology is reducing the your mask size is also reducing your uh, one die is in uh, some few centimeters and on it you have to make transistors which is of micrometer size so of course uh, this uh, high uh, very large size mask has to reduce up and finally that reduced one is uh, what we known as reticle so this is happening uh, this i uh, transfer of ic patterns from mask to a silicon wafer as you can see here this uh, this small uh, is that uh, uh, pattern so this is basically a photolithographic transfer process then first process is uh, uh, we have uh, an siu2 layer over our substrate and then we have uh, applied a photoresist in our second step 
now what is a photoresist and uh, what are the types of photoresist we are going to discuss just you just think that it, it is a it is a chemical that is that is needed to be applied on it which will make uh, some portion as hard and some portion as soluble whenever it is exposed to light and that light is uv radiations we are taking here so we are applying a photo mask here as you can see in the third step and uh, uv radiations away uh, above it and then after exposure uh, some pattern has been formed in uh, figure 4 you can see this this is our developed image then in fifth step we are doing the etching process that is the unwanted material that is uh, below this dig form it has been removed and in the sixth one uh, the photo resist is also has also been removed so this is your uh, basic Uh, lithographic transfer process as i already told you there are two type of photoresist one is your positive photoresist and one is your negative photoresist we are going to discuss in uh, coming lectures and in coming slides so this is one question uh, in this diagram uh, in this picture which type of photoresist we have used so that some portion which is exposed to uv radiations uh, has been uh, removed and some part of it has been retained so uh, which type of photoresist that you going uh, you should uh, this is uh, a sort of quiz question from this slide moving on what are the basic lithographic process that we are going to do so starting from incoming wafers starting from incoming wafers here mm, starting from the incoming wafers first uh, we should uh, need to apply the photo resist and uh, then pre bake option we have then uh, printer allowing expose uh, here we we will apply the mask and then it is developed and rinse and dry and then we have to do the post bake uh, basically pre bake and post bake are done so that your fo photo resist can easily be retained on your substrate and will not be removed then uh, we will inspect and measure the size uh, like how much micrometer or uh, nanometer of uh, your uh, layer uh, you want so then your outgoing wafer will be etched and then strip resist means it is removal of extra resist removal of extra resist we will do here and then finally uh, deposit or grow a new layer on it so next is a uh, photo lithography process uh, like i told you in the previous graph like uh, first we have to do the surface preparation then we have to coat it coat our photo resist on it then uh, we have to do the soft baking then the alignment alignment is uh, alignment is uh, basically with the uh, with the mask alignment is with the mask then exposure with your uh, uv lights then resist development let it de develop for some time and then uh, resist development is basically depending upon your positive and your negative photo resist like which one uh, will become hard and which which one will be, will become soft then ne next one we have hard baking then uh, processing using photo resist as a masking film then stripping means removal and then finally cleaning of your surface uh these are the steps involved in your photo lithographic process next one is your photo mask uh we have discussed in your previous slides also what is actually a photo mask photo mask is nothing but uh, like i told you before it's it's just like a uh, blueprint which is very large in size so when it is exposed to light uh, its size reduces and uh, you have to basically draw uh, all the patterns on your uh, chip which is uh, basically of your micrometer or nanometer technology nowadays 7 nanometer uh, uh, technology size has reduced up to so that much of uh, reduction in size we have to do and such things can be done by your photo mask so uh, photo mask are uh, made up from glass emulsion plates like kodak uh, high resolution plate hrp and your glass covered with uh, hard surface material Yeah, emulsions emulsion masks are uh, actually a little expensive so uh, it, it can make a feature size of 5 uh, 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 micrometer region, uh, region. Uh, let me tell you what do you mean by a uh, feature size 
what do you mean by feature size feature size is basically the smallest uh, the smallest gate actually when we talk about technology 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 we say technology is 2 lambda so basically that is the minimum size of uh, minimum feature size minimum size of any like source drain or gate that you can build the minimum size of a channel that should be there that is your actually feature size means uh, anything uh, should not be less than your technology size and any uh, any structure that you are building any design your that uh, that you are building on your on your substrate it should not be less than your feature size that is the smallest size okay so uh, all the electron beam generated mask are made up of hard materials such as your chromium chromium oxide iron oxide or silicon these masks mask are basically much more expensive and it is giving you a benefit that the feature size here is reduced to your 1 micrometer uh, so that is uh, done for today's lecture that we have discussed about your photolithography process your photo mask how it is done and i have given you one question also regarding the photo resist in the next lectures we'll discuss like uh, uh, what are the types of photo resist positive or negative photo resist how it is developed and how we can apply the processes uh, by which we can apply a photo resist on uh, photo resist on your substrate this is uh, that is uh, we are going to discuss in your subsequent lectures and uh, yeah good for today have a good day